Let's consider the following data from the 2000 U.S. Census. What we have is we have the median age of all the residents in each county of Maryland. In addition, we also have the median age of all the residents of Baltimore City. The first thing we need to do when we're given any data set is to look at the data graphically. One of the tools that we can use to look at a data set graphically is the stem and leaf plot. Let's construct the stem and leaf plot for this data set. Once we have the plot, we will use that graphical representation to describe the data distribution shape, its center, its spread, and whether there are any outliers in the data set. When constructing the stem and leaf plot, the first thing you must decide is what part of the, each data value will be represented by the stem and what part of the data value will be the leaf. In our particular data set, we are going to let the integer part be the stem and the decimal part be our leaf. So let's start by writing all our stems for our stem and leaf plot. Our stems go from 33 years up to 43 years. Once we have our stems, draw the vertical line that will separate the stems from the leaves in our plot. Now we're ready to graph each of our data values. Our first data value is 33.3. We come down, we have a stem of 33, we want the leaf to be 3. We have a data value of 33.3 years. Our next data value is 34.2 years. Our stem will be 34, our leaf will be 2. We also have a 34.6 median age, so we put the 6 right here. How many data values will we have that start with a stem of 35? There will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 data values that begin with a stem of 35. 35.0 35.5, 35.5, 35.5, 35.6, 35 35 35 35.8, and 35.9. We have a 36.0, 36.2, 36.5, 36.8, and a 36.9. We have a 37.0, 37.4, and a 37.7, 38.3, 38.8, 39.1, 40.7, We do not have any median ages that begin with a stem of 42, so we just leave the leaf part that has a stem of 42, we just leave that blank. Then we have a 43.0 and a 43.3. All of our data values have been plotted. Now we need to add the two things that must be included with every stem and leaf plot. You need a title describing what is being graphed in your stem and leaf plot, and you also need a key so that to let the reader know what the stem represents and what the leaf represents in the stem and leaf plot. So let's do that now. Our title is Median Age for Maryland Counties and Baltimore City and our key is 39 line 1. That represents 39.1 years. Do not forget to include years. So now the reader knows that the numbers to the left of the horizontal, the vertical bar represent whole number of years and the, the digit to the right of the vertical line represents the decimal number of years. Now that the stem and leaf plot is complete, you want to use that graphical representation to describe the data distribution shape, its center, its spread, and whether there are outliers or not. What is the shape of the data distribution? We can clearly see from our stem and leaf plot that the data distribution for the median age of the counties in Maryland is right skewed. If you watched or you go back and watch the video that describes how to do a dot plot as your graphical representation of data, 
you will see that we used the exact same data set in that video and we constructed the dot plot. From the dot plot, it was much more difficult to see the shape of the data distribution as compared to the stem and leaf plot. Where is the center of the data distribution? I would say the center is somewhere in this region. So I'm going to say that it's probably between 36 and 37 years. After doing the graphical representation, you will go on and do numerical summaries for your data distribution and you can will get a numerical summary for the center of the distribution but just looking at the data distribution I would say it's somewhere in this region. What's the spread? Looking at data distribution we can use the maximum value 43.3 years and subtract the minimum value in other words the range of the data as our measure of spread and we see that our spread of the data is about 10 years. Are there any outliers in the data set? I would classify the top two ages as outliers and I would probably even include the 41.3 years. This is subjective looking at a data distribution, looking at the data graphically. Different people will have differing, differing opinions uh, as to what is an outlier. Again, after looking at the graphical representation, a more objective look at the data using the actual data values and numerical summaries would be done to get a firmer grip on whether 41.3 was an outlier or not. But just looking at the data, I will class 41.3, classify 41.3 years, 43.0 years, and 43.3 years as outliers. Again, a stem and leaf plot should only be used if the number of data values in your data set are relatively small. The reason for that is we have to plot each and every one of the data values in our stem and leaf plot. So if the data set is large, it would be rather cumbersome to create a stem and leaf plot for such a large data set unless you were using a computer program. One of the advantages of a stem and leaf plot over a histogram, however, is in a stem and leaf plot, you do not lose any of your data values. You can go back and you can reconstruct your data set from a stem and leaf plot. You cannot do this when you use a histogram. So a stem and leaf plot can be a very useful tool in describing the da a data distribution shape its center, its spread, and whether it has outliers or not, if the number of data values in the data set is relatively small.